In the first episode of How Drones Work, I talked about two things, the barometer, which checks the height and the landing, and the um, optical flow system, which checks the uh, distance and height from the floor, and the layout horizontally of, of where it is, taking many pictures of the floor. Well, there's since been some discussions in two particular channels, uh, Phantom Pilots and Telo Pilots, I'll put them on the links to that on the website. And um, I just need to go through some, clarify some things and make some modifications. Because I mentioned in the, uh, the first episode that these two outer buttons, one's flashing red, I think it turns a purple on the screen there, um, and one's black. And I thought those were the optical flow sensors, taking pictures, millions, put them in memory to keep stable. Apparently, it could be the central camera between them is actually the optical flow sensor. Now I don't know and the reason I don't know is that a lot of people don't know because DJI and other drone companies don't release schematics of their drones because the competition might be listening in and do the same. So someone's going to tell us and uh, in the notes below and uh, I'll tell you for sure. The other thing I talked about was the barometer. Now a barometer is a very important instrument and they've become very sophisticated and they're very important for every drone. But there's something that is more important and it's called the internal measurement system and it is really the heart of a drone because it controls uh, where the drone is upon the earth, how far it is, where it's pointing in the earth. And here's a simple drawing of an IMU, a physical one. Now it's like it's obviously it looks like a gyroscope, and in fact it is. A part of it is a gyroscope, and it's determining uh, where the level is on, uh, in relation to the Earth, and where it is vertically, and also what it's doing in the air horizontally. So, if we look at this uh, this drone here, it's uh, got three. Roll, three positions. It's got a roll, which rolls from left to right, so when it's moving left and right. It's got pitch, which when it's going forward, it pitches forward and pitches back. And it's got yaw, which is this direction here. Now, it's the gyroscope in, in, that, um, in that model that, that keeps the drone steady in the air as well as the other instruments I've talked about. Now, um, in here, it shows you the, uh, the, position, the three positions of the, of the aircraft. Now, you couldn't put this in a drone. It's not robust enough, and it's not accurate enough. So what they do is, they put it on a chip, on a module. And there we have the, the gyroscope, the uh, magnetometer, which is north, takes north and south, and the third one is an accelerometer, so it knows how fast it's going, and um, thereby deciding how, how to tilt forward, how to pitch forward, how much to pitch forward, and, uh, and how much to pitch back when it breaks. And you'll see when you're flying a your drone, it will fly like this, with its nose point to the, floor, to the floor, with the propellers whizzing around, and then it, uh, when it stops, it breaks up and pulls back and flares up to stop the drone. So, if that's the heart of the drone, and it is, we've got a lot of sensors here, a lot of instruments, and we need to somehow coordinate all those amazingly um, sophisticated um, sensors, even in a tiny little 80 gram drone like this. And that's what I'm going to look at in the next episode. How does it collect all that information, and very fast, and very accurately, and make this whole thing fly? So episode three is going to be about the brain of the computer. It's three words. See if you can write down the three words in the link below, in the, below, in the comments. And we'll look at that next, uh, next episode. See you next time.